Welcome to our CSS Tips and Tricks video. Today, we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to express the condition height is less than width in a CSS media query. Let's take a closer look at their attempt and see how we can refine it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To express the condition height is less than width in a CSS media query, we need to use a different approach. CSS does not directly support comparisons like height width. Instead, we can use the max height and min width properties to achieve the desired effect. Let's rewrite your media query accordingly. In this example, we set a maximum height of 450 pixels and a minimum width of 451 pixels. This effectively ensures that the height is less than the width. Now let's summarize the changes. We replaced height width with min width to create a valid CSS media query. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To express height less than width in a CSS media query, you can use the aspect ratio property. This allows you to set specific styles based on the dimensions of the viewport. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To express height less than width in a CSS media query, consider using the orientation property set to landscape. This is a useful approach, but you'll want to have more options available for different devices. For specific device styling, CSS Tricks offers a comprehensive article with updated media queries for many devices. It's a great resource to enhance your CSS toolkit. If you use SAS, you can create a media query mixin to simplify your styling for different devices. This allows for more flexibility in your projects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To express height less than width in a CSS media query, you can use viewport units. For example, using max width with 100VH will change the background color to red when the height is greater than the width. Alternatively, you can achieve the same effect using min height with 100 vol w. Both methods are equivalent. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.